currently at $69.91 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them, but my estimate based on P.E. ratio is that they can move up to $108.65 a share in the next 12 months. Hey guys, this is March 4th through March 8th, 2024, this week's winning stocks. And I told you once before that you guys may not be the only ones who look at this. Me and my wife actually look at this again, and then look at these as well. And we actually added some money to our brokerage this week. We was looking to see where we were going to invest it. Um, we were looking to get an option play this week. And as we were um, talking, I was saying, well, let's look at this last week's winning stocks and see what we could pick. And I realized, wait, I didn't do this last week's winning stocks. I thought I did them Friday. I, I guess I am starting to lose memory now. I thought I did them Friday and I realized I hadn't done it. So I had to, put, had to put it together tonight, and here we go. So we start with the S&P 500, like we usually do. And we notice that the S&P 500 went up for the last two weeks. And after a doji like a few weeks back, here we are with another doji. It started the week down. Moved up, came back down, and here we are with a doji for the S&P 500. The Dow has sort of dropped a little and moved sideways a little for the second week straight, but it actually dropped this week from last week. And the NASDAQ, after two weeks up, we see a red candle for this week. It took a decent jump back this week. The week that just passed. So now let's look at how the rest of the stocks on our watch list did. Or at least the ones that we saw a loop moving up a little bit or moving sideways. And we start with Weiss Markets. Weiss Markets is a one star. We know the stocks on my watch list are breaking down into three tiers. Three stars is the most fundamentally sound. Two stars is not as fundamentally sound. And one star is the least most fundamentally sound on our watch list. Still considered fundamentally sound enough to make the watch list, but the least of them. In any event, Weiss Markets is a one star. We've seen it move up for the second week in a row. Now notice, if you look at this last week, it moved up. Pretty decent candle, but it lost half of the gains by the end of the week. But it's moved up for the second week straight. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate for it, but my estimate sees it moving up from its current price of $65.88 to my estimation based on P.E. ratio, $87.27. Marriott Vacations, they are a one star. Currently at $94.04 a share. The last three weeks, I'd say, they've been moving in a sideways pattern. Three weeks ago, they moved up pretty nicely. But from the point where they ended the week at, they've moved sideways for the next two weeks. And we see Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $112 a share. The Hershey Company. The Hershey Company has been moving in a sideways pattern 
this week. We want to see if that continues or if they break out of that. They are currently at $194.56 a share. They're a three-star. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $212.57 a share. Omega Flex, they are a three-star. They're sort of in a sideways pattern. Currently at $69.91 a share. Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate on them, but my estimate based on P.E. ratio is that they can move up to $108.65 a share in the next 12 months. Darling Ingredients, they are a two-star, currently at $43.53 a share. They were moving sideways for a bit, jumped up, came back down, and now they're sort of moving sideways again. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $64.35 a share in the next 12 months. Biogen. Biogen is a three-star. Currently at $223.24 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $304.23 a share in the next 12 months. And they're sort of in a sideways pattern for about three straight weeks right now as well. Archer Daniels Midland. They are a one star, currently at $54.81 a share. They have an earnings report about to drop on March 12th, around three days from now. Now, we see that they dropped significantly around eight weeks back, a couple of months. They dropped significantly, but now the earnings report is coming out. And earnings reports are like casinos. They are almost like report cards for kids, but a report card for a company, let's say. They come out every three months. That report card can be good and the price can drop dramatically, can be good and the price can jump dramatically, or it can be bad and the price can drop dramatically. So, if you don't have the stomach for it, you don't want to own the stock before that earnings report drops. In any event, the earnings report drops. This is the ninth, so this would be Sunday. The earnings report, I guess, drops Wednesday. It's the 12th. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can go up to $65.92 a share in the next 12 months. Devon Energy. This is an energy company. They're currently at $46.16 a share. They've been making small strides up for the last few weeks, but they have been increasing for the last few weeks. They are about to give a dividend, but to get the dividend or to be eligible for it, you have to own the stock before March 14th. And the dividend is 44 cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate this stock can go up to $52.84 a share in the next 12 months. 
Mosaic Company. They are a three star. Currently at $31.59 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can go up to $37.83 a share in the next 12 months. And they've been moving in a sideways pattern, slightly up, but mostly sideways. ExxonMobil. They are a one star. Currently at a hundred and twenty-five dollars. I'm sorry. Currently at a hundred and eight dollars and thirty-eight cents a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can go up to a hundred and twenty-five dollars and twenty-seven cents a share in the next twelve months. They've been moving a little diagonal, little little sideways. But little moves up overall. National Research Corporation. They are a three star. Moving up as well, although sideways for these last two weeks. They are currently at $40.46 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $46.51 a share in the next 12 months. They are going to give a dividend of $0.12 cents a share, but you have to own the stock before March 27th to be eligible for that dividend. APD. Notice, they are a two-star, currently at $241.61 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $268.70 a share in the next 12 months. They have been moving up for the last four weeks. They took a pretty sizable drop down and since that point they've been moving up i have them as my option pick in this week's option picks from a few weeks back from actually when they were down at 220 dollars notice they've moved up profitably by thursday I was up around 138% as a gain in these last four weeks. But by Friday, that 138% gain turned to around 110%. And that's where you see this big move back from the top that happened at the end of the week. In any event, they are about to give a dividend, but you have to own them before March 28th to be eligible for that dividend. And that dividend is $1.77 a share. Idacore, they are $89.35 a share a two-star, currently moving in a sideways pattern. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $97.50 a share in the next 12 months. Haymanetics, they are another they were actually our first this month's option pick. Currently at $79.61 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $104.43 a share in the next 12 months. We said they're two-star. 
they were moving sideways until this last week they sort of broke out. AMN Healthcare Services. They are a two-star. Currently at $60.89 a share. Up for the second straight week. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $77.43 a share in the next 12 months. Rogers Corporation. They are a one star. Moving in a sideways pattern. Currently at $115.90 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $147.50 a share in the next 12 months. And that's it for our this week's Stock Winners, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video and have a great weekend.